this is a this is a huge project for Australia, and it's a and it's a, a great announcement that Mike Cannon Brooks has done today. Uh, look, Sun Gable probably um, it captures exactly what the technology is about. It's about you know capturing the solar energy from Australia and transporting it through an electrical cable from Australia to to Singapore, and effectively creating us as a, the battery for Singapore. Okay, well, that was my next question. How big is the battery that's needed to to store and collect this much power? Uh, look, look, it's huge. You know, the, the Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia is currently the world's largest uh, lithium-ion battery. Uh, this is around 200 times the size of that. It's, it's somewhere in the, uh, around 36 gigawatt hours is going to be the storage capacity of that battery. And to give you some perspective on that, uh, it's, it's about a, about one to two million uh, Australian households could be powered by that same battery. Well, that was my next question because obviously the, the intention is to give 5.5 million people um, power in Singapore. But could a project like that provide power for Australian homes and, and how would that work? Yeah, look, the, you know, this project could do that. But what it's doing is setting up Australia uh, to be the, uh, an energy exporter for the next generation. Uh, Australia has been greening our grid for the last 10 years. Uh, we have quite a, quite a green electrical grid now. Uh, there's, you know, uh, we've got the highest um, rollout of rooftop solar in the world. Uh, and this stage is actually setting us up as to being an exporter of our, our greatest resource that Australia has, which is the sun. Mm. And how many solar panels do you need to capture that kind of energy? Like, like how large is, is the project going to be? Uh, look, again, it's huge. You know, it's in the tens of millions of solar panels uh, will need to be supplied and installed. And, and what I really like about this sort of project is that it's, it's an Australian backing Australia. Uh, Mike Cannon Brooks and the consortium behind Sun Cable have been investing in Australian startup companies for a little while now. And 5B, which is the technology you're seeing here, is a startup company out of UNSW, uh, so an Australian company set up to, to roll out these, these very large um, solar plants, the biggest in the world. And is it possible that Australia could actually be exporting solar energy to, to other countries? Like, could we actually become the biggest solar exporter in, in the world, considering how much sun we have? Oh, exactly. Look, I'd really like to see that. If, you know, if this project is successful, one, we'll have the largest solar power plant in the world. Uh, secondly, we'll have the largest uh, battery in the world and we will be the largest exporter of solar energy, our greatest resource, uh, to the manufacturing powerhouse that is Asia. Given uh, your area of expertise, um, you know, people, detractors of this project have said it's, you know, it's never been done before. I mean, what are some of the challenges, as you see it, in, in such a large scale, um, you know, energy um, production? Yeah, look, I think it's exactly how you've said it there. It's, it's the challenges in doing the project itself. The technology is already there. You know, solar panels and, and large-scale power plants can already be built from, uh, from solar. Large batteries can be built. And the cable connection between Australia and Singapore, that's probably the, the most technically challenging uh, part of this, but it has been done. Um, you know, the, the analogy I like to give is the, the Bass Strait interconnector, interconnector, the Bass Link. Uh, it's around 290 uh, kilometres of, uh, of submarine cable. This is going to be more than 10 to 20 times that length. Uh, so that's a challenge in itself. But the engineering and the technology is, is available. It can be done. Uh, it's just it's the ambition to go ahead with this scale of project. And just sort of geographically, aside from the Simpson Desert, are there any other places that you think could work in Australia, aside from that desert, to capture this much energy? Oh, look, you know, Australia is just a great solar resource, solar resource all around. You know, if you compare even our east coast, which is quite, um, you know, it can be cloudy and a little bit of rain, uh, the solar resource on our east coast uh, betters most of Europe and, and big parts of uh, Asia as well. But uh, the biggest resource Australia has is the centre of Australia and Western Australia. Uh, there's a number of uh, companies setting themselves up to be energy exporters. It's not always about electricity. It could also be hydrogen. So, you know, uh, Australia itself it could actually be an energy exporter in a range of different technology and, and uh, energy carriers.